Hi, Kevin with I'dGoBack.com. Back here. I came back again to Mark Hudson's studio here in Los Angeles, and we're going to look at, at some of the memorabilia on the wall here while Mark's over playing around with the uh, audio stuff. There's the um, Living on the Edge uh, multi-platinum um, CD there, album. We have a lot of Beatles memorabilia, a lot of Elvis, a lot of other artists that Mark uh, has gleaned from in his his career. Eleanor Rigby album cover over there. Yeah, you gotta collect it. Why can't I? Picture of John. Poster of Jimi Hendrix up there. Billy Holiday. Ollie Nightingale. But Ozzy put his name. His name was Ollie Nightingale. And Ozzy climbed up there on a ladder and put Ozzy Nightingale. Ozzy put, Nightingale. And drew hair on him because Ozzy wanted to be a blues singer. Oh, that's great. Goes to show you how crazy the people that I hang out with. You know. Mark, what year was this picture of, like, in the 60s with Yoko and John? It's a famous no, picture 19, here. No, 1980. That was just like the day before he died or even the day that he did die. Oh, wow. Yeah, one of the more tragic things that happened in our lifetime, you know. So sad. There's a nice photo of Ringo playing the drums. Mark has produced eight of Ringo Starr's solo albums since he was a Beatle. Mark has produced more Beatles stuff. It's probably in the Guinness Book of World Records than anybody else. <laughs> post has collaborated post post Beatles post stuff. Beatle. Be careful, post right? Beatles stuff. More than anybody. Yeah, like no one else has been with one Beatle that long. And it's quite an honor, you know. The, the, you know he's the best drummer that I've ever worked with. Here we have some uh, gold and platinum records up here on the walls. We've got, um, what do we have up here, Mark? Bon, bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. We've got uh, Hanson's up there somewhere. We've yeah. got... Um, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne. Pat Boone way over there in the corner. The list goes on and on. Yeah. On yeah. and on. It's just, you know, you can't beat a good song, you know? Okay, Mark, this one in particular right here, the Hanson one right here, tell yeah. us a little bit about that one right there. Well, it was weird, you know, it was the, the, the time when Hanson came out was really, grunge music was, like, really happening. And uh, Steve Greenberg called me and said, we work with these kids from Oklahoma called Hanson. And I, and I had just finished working with Aerosmith. And the last thing I wanted to do was a pop record. And he said, they're three brothers. And I went, oh, God, so was I. And I said, I've already been there and done that. And he begged me to meet with them. So they came here. And they were like little kids. Like, you know, the little Zach was nine playing with Power Rangers on the floor. You know, it was, it was cute. But I saw the dynamic that only brother acts have. Like the Bee Gees, the Mills brothers, the Gatlin brothers, <clears throat> the Jacksons. The Osmonds, and they had that dynamic, that love for each other, the competitive side towards each other, and a brilliant sense of harmony. So they said, We've got this song called Umbop, and, and I heard it, and I went, I liked it. I didn't know what the hell it meant, but I liked it. And then I figured, You know something? Maybe I will. So I called up Steve Greenberg and I said, I'll work with him. And I wrote three songs on that album. The next single, Where's the Love? Where's the love makes the world go round and round and... I wrote that with him. I didn't even know what that meant. Remember, they were just were kids. Okay, for all you Hanson fans out here, this is the guy who created that Hanson sound. Yeah. Right here. Yes. Well, right here. It, it was, it was, you know, Steve Greenberg really is the guy that's responsible for creating the overall sound of that. I just brought the songwriting part out of them and then produced the Christmas album, which I, we had a blast doing. And because they were a family, and I fell in love with their family. So they became really easy to work with. And now, they've all like spewed children. They, you know, they've all got nine kids, and they're married and taller than me with deeper voices. And they've become a great band. And if you're going to check them out, I don't even know what their website would be, but check out Hanson, because they're writing great, they're singing great, and they're playing all their own stuff. They're no longer teeny boppers. They're a band, like any other band that's out there. Pretty cool. 
Good kids, too. Okay, Mark Hudson is... Mark's a pretty versatile guy. He's produced everybody from Ozzy Osbourne to the Hanson. So, yeah, pretty you know, and, and in between we have acts like Celine Dion and different people he's written songs with. Name a couple others that you've written songs with, Mark. Uh, I mean, I've written from Cher, Jars of Clay... I mean, I get around, so it's like, you know... Isn't you know, Jars of Clay a Christian group? Yeah, they were. Yeah. And, I, and I was even nominated for a Dove Award, uh, which is like the, the Christian version of a Grammy. And if you can imagine this guy sitting in the audience, they had thought, oh my God, it's Satan! They must have seen this and got frightened. But I worked with DC Talk and uh, and, and the boys uh, from uh, the, the Crazy Times album with Jars of Clay. And you know what? I love doing music. And so with that, I'll, I'll go anywhere. A good song is a, a good song. And, and we all started doing this for free. The fact that I ended up making a living doing it, I'm lucky. But uh, I write songs every day, even when no one likes them or hears them. Okay, Mark, when we come back from commercial, we're going we're gonna to take a peek at um, a song, All the Tea in China, that you wrote when you were 15 years old. I did. It's going to be on the artist. Sing yeah. a few bars of it to take us out. Um, Real quick, Grab a guitar and, and let's take a break and hear a little bit of All the Tea in China. Yeah, and I don't know why you, one of your favorite songs, Kevin, so that's not going to work. See, the best part about me is I'm completely dysfunctional. I don't really let's see, can we find a guitar here in this place? Let's look up here. Yes. Let's well, see, look at all these guitars. This is one that I like. This was a gift from Cher. All these guitars on the wall, and Mark picked this one, a gift from Cher. Yes. Ah, careful. You're right. Okay, let's see. I'm happy. Ooh, I couldn't feel better. And I'm also oh glad that I finally found you. Distorted. Until I met you, now everything is alright. Oh, love couldn't be better than all the tea in China. Yeah, love couldn't be better than anything that money can buy. Version Raw of version of All the Tea in China from the upcoming The Artist album, produced, sung, written, performed, All everything by Mark goes Hudson. by Mark Hudson. But remember, I'd go back.com. We'll be back with Keep coming back. Mark Hudson.